Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I'm back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us In today's video I am showing you some easy shaker cards using sequin family set from just my craft so let's begin first have a look at these gorgeous sequins it's a pack of 12 jars containing a rainbow of colors Each jar contains 8 grams of sparkly goodness. So let's look at the colors closely. Beginning with lighter colors, we have here creamy vanilla, and then we have sunshine yellow. Next is tangy orange. Then this is earthy brown, a very soft brown, and then we have baby pink. It's really bright. Next is hot pink. and then we have deep red and this one is orchid it's like a pinkish purple kind of a color next is we have sky blue then we have steel blue it's like a grayish blue color then we have ocean blue and the last one we have is forest green by the way these names of the colors is given by myself it is not from the brand actually okay so if you like creating shakers actually so then this is a must have pack good thing is that that it's coming at a great price point so i have given a link in the description so do check it out now let's get started with some cards so for all the cards that i'm making today there are two things that are common first is that i'm using the sequin set for all the cards and second thing is that i'm using my circle dies and circle punches from dress my craft now for the first card i took small sizes of circle dies and die cut these on white card stock the first is it gave me a ring like this and a center piece now additionally i die cut two other pieces as well with a bigger die for the base of the card Now I already painted the scene. I simply divided it into two parts. Color the top one with blue ink to give a sky look and the bottom one with the green to represent grass. Okay, so this looks a really nice um scene background. I also prepared some images. These are stamped and I have this cute sun. So I punched it out with one inch circle punch and colored it yellow. I added some eyes and smile on it okay so start with adding one big base piece on the back of the scene background as shown Now take the ring and add a red tacky tape on the back of it. Now this is the best tape to use for shaker windows. Now cut a circle on acetate that fits on the ring and adhere it well. Now if you see the ring isn't fitting properly on the base just move it around like this it will fit eventually because this is die cut from the same die cut foam tape in thin strips of about 1 by 8 inches and apply two layers around the ring Before we add sequins inside the window we need to brush off the edges to prevent sequins to sticking on the edges so people do it with powder i like to do it with glitter so just take your fingers and you know rub it around the ed inside edges of the circle Now I'm putting in the forest green and earthy brown sequins. Before that, adding this cute sun here. 
I suggest putting the elements you want to highlight on top of the window instead of inside because otherwise the sequence might cover them up. Before closing the window, just level up the sequence, flat them so they move better. Now press down the edges very well before lifting it up and start playing with it. Now add the elements on top using red tacky tape. Finally, take the last base piece, fold it a little from the top and adhere it as shown. For the next card, I took a piece of cardstock measuring 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inches and inked it yellow and also splattered some water on top of it for this effect. Now the idea is to make a cheese like background. So that's why I'm gonna make holes in this base. I'm gonna use 1 inch and 1 and a half inch circle punch from Dress My Craft. As you can see, I already did two circles in the center using scissors because the punches couldn't go all the way in now i did mark the circles with pencils i did it because i wanted the circles to be perfectly sized and perfectly placed around each other you can also go freehand if you wish now punch on all the marks and erase the pencil lines if visible. Now I took a white note card but I don't like it white behind the holes so I decided to ink it up a little and it did look better now. So I already have some mouse images and sentiment ready. Now let's do the shaker. Add the acetate sheet first in the back using the tacky tape. After that, add two layers of foam tape around the circle. Again, rub the glitter around the inside edges. For this card, I am using creamy vanilla and sunshine yellow sequins. Now just add them to the base and adhere the top.
adaya the half portion first and then the other half press it down well wait for the glue to stick properly now add the elements on top using red tacky tape and finally add the sentiment For the last card I have a piece of cardstock about 1/8 inch shorter than the standard size and I have marked three circles on it. It's 1 and 1/2 inches in size and I'm going to cut it using 1 and 1/2 inch circle punch from this my craft. I took another card base it is standard size and i actually ruined this piece by cutting it wrong yes i made mistakes too so i didn't want to throw it out so i just taped back all the punch outs and this goes in the base of the card now just add acetate to the back of all windows and here i am creating a c scene so i have lots of related images already first i am arranging these on top of this piece then i'm going to add two layers of foam tape around the circle windows again rub the glitter on the inside edges and here i'm using sky blue and ocean blue sequins put them on the base and adhere the top well Now this was looking kind of empty to me so I decided to add some rings here so I'm punching with 1 and 1/2 inch punch first and then with 2 inch punch from this my craft I inked all the rings blue and then adhere them on top like this and finally add the sentiment and tiny fish So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.